what's up everybody? Welcome to the Big Shot Sports Podcast. I know it's been a while since I um since I've been live on Facebook. Um there's been a lot of things going on, especially in the world of sports. Uh right now, you know, the NBA playoffs. This is gonna dig right into it. Um, the NBA finals. Um I know some people there say, oh man, you know, the playoff you know the, the, the finals it's boring, it's this, it's that. Um I don't think it's boring at all. I think it's a very good NBA Finals. I mean, you know, people are saying that because their team's not in it. That's what it is. You know, Golden State's not in it. The Lakers aren't in it. Milwaukee's not in it. So, Boston for sure is not in it. So, of course they're going to say, well, I'm not watching it. It's boring. But, you know, the, the first game of the Finals, the ratings were pretty low. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, the, the the numbers that they hoped it would be. But I think, you know, it's gonna it's gonna get better, you know, through throughout the time. But I do think Miami. I'm gonna tell you guys this. This is why we call him Playoff Jimmy. He's gonna have to play ten times better now in Game Three. You're gonna be at home for three and four. I'm gonna tell you, Duncan Robinson. He did. He did it really well. He played. He played his butt off in Game Two. Strews and Caleb Martin. That's my guy there. Those guys really played well. They they answered the bell. The first game. I don't know where their heads was in the first game. I don't. I don't know. Um, oh man, they gotta wake up quick. They got to. They can't. They can't go down two games to zero and go home in three and four because Denver was really. Putting it on them in game one. You know, Denver, yeah, you know, Denver is the bigger team. You know, anybody you throw at, you know, Miami threw at them, Denver can shoot over those guys. But I was like, hey, man, we got to fix this. They got to do a lineup change. Something has to happen. And then they did. And they took care of Denver in game two. It was really good. But again, I'm going to keep saying it Jimmy Butler has to take the game. Don't let it come to you. He had to continue to take it. Like in the first game, he passed up some shots. I was like, man, this guy has to take these shots. You're the man of that team. So you have to take control of that game. You know, with with Denver, the Joker, he's going to get his points. He's going to get his rebounds. It, it don't matter who you throw at him, he's going to perform. He's going to do his thing. Just like Murray. But you have to. You have to find a way, again, to really, really slow these guys down because we don't know how they're going to come out in game three, which is tomorrow. They may come out a totally different team. Same with Miami. I don't, I don't know if they're going to another roster. I don't know. But who, whoever wins this game tomorrow cannot make boneheaded mistakes, can't, can't be making stupid fouls, you have to really focus in on this game tomorrow. It's going to be a very important game tomorrow. Game three will be really good out in Miami. It's going to be really good. I got some um, some friends out that way. They're ready for that game in Miami tomorrow for three and four. I, I hope the crowd is, is ready. I know Denver will be, but the Miami fans, I know they're ready to rock and roll tomorrow for game three. Now, who do I think is going to win? That's the question. I do like Jamal Murray. I do like the Joker. Aaron, you know, Aaron Gordon, these guys are playing really good. Um, I got to go with Miami. I've been picking Miami, and I'm going to stay with them. Because you got Jimmy Butler. Bam is doing good, too. Um, this, you know, this guy is doing really well. Uh, the first game, I was going like, oh, man. But he, he's really picking it up. So we're going to see tomorrow who really wants it. Do Miami want it? You know, do Miami want it, or does Denver want it? Denver, Denver waited 46 to 47 years for this. You know, will it be a failure if if Denver lose? Um, would it be a failure if they lose? That's gonna be a question. That'll be after the finals. So now we're gonna get off the NBA finals, and I want to talk about everyone's favorite player in John Moran. 
his suspension will be told after the NBA Finals. I got my two cents in it, you know, for the first time. Um, I think I think it'll be 50 games, if you ask me. I haven't looked at ESPN. I haven't looked at CBS Sports. I haven't looked at any of that. But I, I do think that um, <clears throat> it'll probably be 50 games. Probably a five. I did not break any rules. I mean, they do got enough you know, stuff they have to um, <clears throat> they have to abide by. You know, you know these players. It is rules they got to abide by on and off of the court. So I don't, I don't really think it may be what most people think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a year. I, I think that's a little bit too aggressive. I don't think it's going to be a year. He's not going to get banned. I, I just think it may be 50 games. It could be 50 games or maybe a little bit less. But this is what his second, his second time. The first time, okay, he got to step on the wrist. Okay, understandable. But the second time, you know, now they're kind of looking like, oh, okay, he didn't get the memo this time. So we're going to see after the NBA Finals what would be the punishment. But like I said, guys, I haven't been looking at that to, to, to say 50 games. That is just my opinion on that. Remember, everyone has their own opinion on it. Some people think he's going to get banned. <laughs> but I just think, you know, with him getting banned would be absolute crazy. I don't I don't see that happening. But if but if it does, if it does, it's just gonna have to happen. But I just don't see that happening of um John Moran getting banned. Now is you know, he's a great player. You know, I, you know, I'm not gonna say he's not. You know, when I hear people say oh, he's not even a great player. You know, no, you know, not just going too far. I, you know, I do think he's a very great player. You know, he's young. He still he still has time. But, you know, we can't keep, you know, he's 23 years old. He's a grown man. You are a grown man. 23 years old, 24, 25, 26. You're still a grown man. You know what you're doing at the end of the day. You know, there's no excuse for it. There's no excuses for it. You know, he's not being charged with anything. He's just the NBA doing what they supposed to do. You have guidelines in place that you supposed to follow all off for the court. You gotta follow those guidelines. And so hopefully, you know, John Moran he's taking this seriously. You know, if not, I hate I hate to see such a young man lose everything that he worked for. Because it can happen. It can happen. These <laughs> these players can lose money just like that. And a blink of an eye, you can lose that money. You can lose that money. You know, some people may think, oh, it's funny, it's a, you know, it's a joke. Man, listen, it don't matter if you lose $100. It don't matter if you lose $20. Money is money. You need it. You need, you need money to survive. It don't matter if you sign a $275 million contract. I'm just throwing it out there. You know how fast you can do that? So hopefully he's being very smart with the money that he does have. Because let's just say, throwing it out there, let's just say, hopefully it doesn't happen, he loses all his endorsements. Notice what I've said. Let's just say, let's just throw it out there. I'm not saying he will. I'm just throwing it out there for the people that that don't really comprehend. Now, you lose all your endorsements. That's extra money. That's money that you can live on. Marshawn Lynch lived on his endorsement money. They came out of his mouth. Which should be true. Which would be very true. Maybe you have to think about it. When you retire, from the NBA, NFL, whatever sport, what money you got up to live on? That big old mansion you brought when you were 23 is not paid off yet. All eight cars you got is not paid off yet. 
you got thirty homeboys on your payroll. You go buy your mama house, not paid off. So that's what a lot of players they do. I'm not here to tell nobody what to do with their money. I mean, I put I would put that money up, and I will live on my endorsements. So guess what? When you're playing, you know, when your days are done, you're done with the NBA, you're done with the NFL, or whatever sport you play. You gotta live off that money for the future. But a lot of players don't think like that. For what they want to do? Oh, I want to go my mom's house. I want to go buy a Bentley. I want to go get that big old mansion in California. You don't need all that. That's why they. That's why they go broke. Listen to these former players when they tell you this. I read an article about what Larry Bird said. He told his teammates, save y'all money. Save y'all money. What What are you going to need? You know what you're going to do after your playing days are over? Especially if you're not a superstar. Especially if you're not a star. I will be saving all of my money. All of my money. Especially, again, if you're not a superstar. I will save every penny that I have. Because you blow that knee out. You blow out your ACL. You have Tommy Gunn surgery, which a great pitcher is having it for the second time. Mr. Jacob, the Texas Rangers pitcher, having it again for the second time. He just signed, I think, a 185 or was it 182 million dollar contract. He should be fine. I do believe. But that's time. That's you know you're away. You're not playing, but you still got money to live on. That's that's what Larry Bird was telling his teammates. You need to live on this money in the future. This man probably had even spent 1980 money yet. Julius Irvin, guys like that. You wonder why these guys are still successful. You wonder why these guys still have money. Because they didn't go wasting it. But before I get out of the topic, you can't you can't tell people nothing no more. Without them getting upset. Are oh, you trying to tell them my money? No! Because when you go broke and you're hurting, you need something, you can't get it because you're broke, don't come running to me. Read up on that article, what Larry Bird said about his teammates and not giving them money. He said it, he said it hurts him to see his former teammates struggle, not having nothing because they didn't listen. I think the NFL has a class on that for the rookies when they come in. I think so. Or they have more players come in and talk. I think the NBA has that too. Um, I'm not going to name the players that are broke. I'm not going to do that. But that you know they lost a lot of money. Um, we well, know. Okay. Well, Alan Hollis, we know his. We know his story. You know. We know his story. You know. To, it's just. It's just crazy how these guys go broke after making so much money doing what they love to do. It's it's absolutely um, crazy to me. So let's um, I'm gonna take a quick break here and I'll be right back. I'm back. So let's just keep on going while I have time. I'm going to switch over to TikTok um, here short. Um, college football, it's, it's getting close. It's getting closer and closer and closer by the day. It's never too early to talk about college football. It's never too early. Never. So we're going to talk about it right quick. This is going to be my last topic, and, we're gonna, and I'm going over to TikTok. Now, in the 
ACC. Which team has more to prove in the ACC? Can Clemson rebound? That's a, a question that I was asked the, uh, the other day. Is can Clemson rebound? Well, can they rebound? That's the question. You know, I think I think they can. I really do. I think Clemson and Jimbo Fisher can get that program back on the right path. But um, Miami, the Miami Hurricanes, is is the team that that I'm looking for. Um, Sample Florida State. They got a big game coming up um, against LSU. As well, that's going to be a very that's going to be a very good game. Um, but I think Miami can can um, run some things in the ACC, depending on what Florida State is going to do. NC State, that's my uh, my dark horse in that division is um, NC State. But Florida State, they have a very great game against LSU. It's going to be a very big game. We need more games like that in college football. So let's get to the AC, the the SEC. You know, well, I've seen both the schedules. Georgia and Alabama. Who has the weaker schedule? Georgia. With no, it's no, no shadow of doubt in my mind. It's Georgia. Have you seen Georgia's schedule? If not, I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read it to you. Because I really think that the Georgia Bulldogs, the defending champions, their schedule is set for them to get back into the championship. So let's let's read this schedule, shall we? <clears throat> let's pull it up. I'm gonna pull you up the schedule <clears throat> right now. Let me um, let me get it. Here is the Georgia Bulldogs schedule. Follow me as I go. UT Martin, Ball State. They don't go two and up. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Georgia's going two and up. Then you got South Carolina on the 16th. That game can go either way, but but Georgia's gonna win that game. Three zero. UAB on the 23rd. They're going to be 4M. You go to Auburn. A tough place to play. Auburn can give Georgia fits. You know, I'm going to pick Georgia to lose that game. Georgia's going to be 4 and 1. They're going to beat Kentucky. Beat Vanderbilt. They're 6 and 1. They're going to beat Florida, 7, 8, 9, ooh, yeah. That, Georgia's going to have that one loss. Mark my words, they're going to have that one loss against Auburn. But they're going to the NC Championship. You don't even have to worry about it. They're going to book their tickets. Matter of fact, Georgia don't even got to start their starters until they play South Carolina. Take them out against UAB. Put them back in against Auburn, take them out against Kentucky, take them out of, you know, take them out against Vanderbilt, they're gonna whoop them, but you can do it for Florida. And um, Missouri, Ole Miss, but I will say this too. Watch out for the Florida Gators this year. Um, I'm, I'm getting very high on them right now. The Georgia Bulldogs, the Georgia Bulldogs and Florida. So now I want to get into some coaching news here. I um, mean college football. Okay, I got I got a few more minutes, but then after that, I'm going over to TikTok, folks. Um, the coach that have most to prove um, to me will be Jimbo Fisher for the Texas and the Aggies out of Aggieland. What has he done since he's been there? Besides start mess with Nick Saban, how many championships he's won in Texas and Aggieland? 
Okay. None. So, I think his job will be on the line. If, if he doesn't do a good job, I think they will be calling for a buyout. Think I'm crazy? I even have the Ohio State head coach on the chopping block as well. He's my honorable mention. Um, same for Texas head coach, too. I got him on my high seat, too, as well. Um, North Carolina, Coach Mac Brown. I think he's going to retire after this year. Um, Nebraska and, and Wisconsin, I can see them doing pretty good this year as well. In the Pac-12, I know it's getting kind of um, funky out there in the Pac-12. Um, I don't know if Colorado's going to leave, but I'm here in Oregon and Washington State may be on their way out as well. I know um, USC, they're leaving too. So um, before I leave the podcast um, for today, Oregon, the Oregon Ducks. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys, y'all better watch out for the Oregon Ducks. They're on the way. They're on the way. I think they're going to have a very great season. They got a great recruiting class as well. Um, Alabama do too for 2024. But Oregon, this year, I think they're going to take that step. They're going to shock a lot of teams this year. Maybe they may shock the whole college world by getting to the championship. We're going to see. But that's it for me, folks. I'm sorry I had been off you know, in a while, but I will be back soon and do more shows on live. So y'all have a great day. Thank you guys for listening to the Big Show Sports Podcast. I'm out of here.